right. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about some awesome body treatments that we do provide at Pariser Dermatology Specialists. Our webinar tonight is called Show Your Body Some Love. So welcome. Okay, just going to introduce you to myself. My name is Melissa Alcox. And I joined the practice as a PA in 2007, practicing medical and cosmetic dermatology. I grew up in VB and I am a true beach girl. I love to paddleboard, snowboard and practice yoga. I enjoy spending time with my husband and three young kids and giant schnauzer when he isn't breaking my nose. My <laughs> philosophy when approaching my cosmetic patients is to provide the most honest assessment and natural look. I would love to see you in our VB office or Norfolk office. We also have Dr. Cindy Taroski. Welcome, Dr. Taroski. Hello, Dr. thank you for having me. <laughs> Dr. Cindy Taroski has been with our practice for 12 years, and she started out as an EVMS resident. She founded our cosmetic division and now serves as our cosmetic director. Originally from Maryland, she loves being a mom to her five-year-old daughter and two older stepsons. She loves to ski and may have a slight obsession with Christmas decorations and shoes. Dr. Taroski is a provider who truly keeps it real with her patients and provides honest opinions for optimal outcomes. She has a gregarious personality and her patients appreciate her ability to be professional yet relatable. You can schedule an appointment with Dr. T at our Virginia Beach office and Chesapeake locations. Welcome Dr. T. Uh, Dr. Reed. Hi, Dr. Reed. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. Thanks for coming. Uh, this is Dr. Ashley Reed. She has been with our practice for 10 years and also started out as an EVMS resident. Not only is Dr. Reed a medical and cosmetic dermatologist, but she is also a fellowship trained Yale University dermatopathologist. Dr. Reed is a true Southern belle who is actively involved in the Junior Virginia Beach Garden Club. She loves a good blowout and enjoys, enjoys spending time with her husband and three young children. You can count on Dr. Reed's careful eye and attention to detail. She is a true perfectionist who will take her time with your treatment and has an eye for a natural looking aesthetic. You can schedule an appointment with Dr. Reed at our Norfolk location. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we also have Dr. Lauren Barnes. Hi, Dr. Barnes. Hey. Thank you for coming. Um, oh, Dr. Lauren, Dr. Lauren Barnes is also a former EVMS resident who joined our practice in 2019. She is fellowship trained in laser and cosmetic dermatology by world-renowned expert, Dr. David McDaniel. Dr. Barnes grew up in North Carolina. She loves to snowboard and spend time with her husband and her two <clears throat> young daughters who are gymnasts. She has a passion for anything Disney and the Olympics. Dr. Barnes is always up to date on the latest cosmetic advancements and provides a youthful perspective to her cosmetic treatments. Her patients describe her as a as a gentle, a great listener, and an excellent educator. You can schedule an appointment with Dr. Barnes at our Newtown location. Welcome. So today we're going to discuss uh, some of our body treatments that we offer at Pariser, and this will include a discussion about Quo um, by Dr. Taroski, Cool Sculpting by Dr. Ashley Reed, All Therapy by Dr. Lauren Barnes, and she will also discuss Fraxel. And just as a reminder, there's a phone number at the bottom of your screen. We will have uh, somebody standing by live to answer questions and to also go ahead and get you scheduled. So please submit your questions using the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. At the end of each section, I will be announcing the questions so that the provider can answer them. Uh, we are taking appointments tonight, so you don't have to call the main number. You can call this special phone number. Uh, number is 313-5813. Call now if you need us and we'll get you scheduled. 
We're also going to be offering some really cool prizes for the attendees, but it will be announced at the end of tonight's presentation. So you have to be here to win. And trust me, you want to be here. My slide's not advancing. Give me a second. I think I have it, Melissa. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm Dr. Taroski, in case, you know, we don't all match our pictures. Um, so I'm going to be talking about Quo. Um, Quo is the only FDA approved injectable um, to treat um, cellulite. And um, we've been offering this for huh, probably about a year and a half or so. Um, I feel like with COVID, we've all lost two years and kind of this launched, you know, right during that time frame. So um, um, it hasn't gotten as much attention, um, although that is starting to, to pick up now, particularly with uh, social media, because everybody's worried about their cellulite. So what is cellulite? Well, you know, no one is exempt. No one can hide from cellulite. You know, unfortunately, the, the paparazzi cameras are out and they catch the celebrity. So cellulite doesn't care how old we are, although it does tend to happen post-puberty. If we're a little bit overweight and a little fluffy or super um, skinny, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how light or dark our skin is. Although I still fight with my best college girlfriends who still like to tan in the summertime because they say that tan cellulite looks better than pale cellulite. So, um, you know, we're dermatologists. Please don't go out and get tan for that reason. But we all know what cellulite is. Um, this is an, an altered topography or the surface of our skin. Um, it creates that dimpling. The most common areas for this to occur um, is on the buttocks or thighs, but some people also um, will get it particularly later in life um, on the, the sides of the arms. Um, it affects 85 to almost 100%, 98% of us um, after uh, puberty. So it is really um, unusual to find someone that really truly does not have any um, cellulite. It is called, caused by a multitude of factors. Um, there is low grade inflammation. Inflammation um, leads to actually what we call dermal atrophy. That's loss of some of the collagen in our skin. So just like we know that the environment and the things that we do that causes um, inflammation throughout our body, it really um, affects all of our organ systems and, and leads to a lot of different diseases. Um, for those that have had some cosmetic treatments with us, um, we always talk about uh, chronic inflammation that even leads to wrinkles and loss of volume in our face, what also um, leads to loss of volume in the skin of the buttocks and thighs. And um, we also have genetic factors. So if you want to run, you know, after this webinar and tell mom, thank you for giving my, me my ACE or HIFA gene. There are some genes. These are the kinds of things that we get tested on in our boards. Um, hormones, estrogen, insulin, prolactin, all of these different hormones are are at play. There's also vascular changes. Um, so people can have restricted blood flow to some of these areas. And then also edema, which um, if you're eating a lot of salt and you're, you're holding fluid, you might notice that your, um, that your cellulite is uh, more noticeable. Some of the treatments for cellulite actually create edema and kind of pull fluid into the area to help um, soften some of the, um, uh, the, the contours of the skin. But that tends to be very um, temporary. But the real cause of this are these fiber septi, there are these basically bands of tissue that tether or attach that top layer of skin down to the deeper layers of fat and also muscle, depending on where on the body, on the thigh, anterior thigh, it's actually attached down to that muscle layer. And these bands, these fiber bands are very, very rich in collagen type one and three. There's a number of different um, collagens. And um, these collagens really are um, um, resistant to a lot of the enzymes that break collagen down, except for the ones that are in Quo. And, and here is no one is safe from cellulite. So um, most of us, if we get the right angle on a camera picture, you're gonna see it on our body. So um, here's a kind of a picture of that. You see these fibrous bands that are kind of tethering the skin down um, through the fat layer. And then you get a little herniation or kind of a pocket of the fat in between these bands. And that's what causes that rippling effect um, that we see um, so commonly on the surface of our skin. So what is Quo? It's the first and only FDA approved injection to treat cellulite. Um, it has two different enzymes that basically break down or eat up that fibrous band that's kind of tethering that skin down. Um, just very briefly, and these prices will be different for um, today, but typically we offer these in packages. Unfortunately, the more dimples you have, the more you're going to pay, unfortunately, because it takes more products, but um, we do sell it in packages. It's basically mild up to 12 dimples, moderate up to 24, and then we can go up to 36. For certainly patients that have more than that, we can alter that, but these are the, the most common ways that we inject. This is done uh, in three different treatments. Uh, we treat three weeks apart. The treatment itself takes 10 minutes or less. 
Um, there are some photographs that we take and the first time um, we go through <clears throat> consent and risks and benefits, but three treatments over three weeks. So here are some results. Um, uh, this is a patient that um, completed um, three treatments. We'll see a, a very nice reduction in the, the dimpling in the buttocks. And I would say this patient's kind of on the milder side with regards to how deep her dimples are. But once you release that band, um, it's, gonna, it, it's gonna soften even um, deeper uh, dimples. Um, this is really only FDA approved on the buttock area. I will say we can treat um, dimples off the buttock area um, most of the time. It really depends on location, depth, and underlying um, tissue but um, we can go off of the buttock um, if we um, need to. Um, here's a patient from our practice. Um, you will notice one of the side effects here, bruising. This is just two weeks after the first treatment. So this is um, her preparing for her um, uh, next treatment. And then this is nine weeks after. So this is after the patient had completed it. Um, she did have one more after this, which is why she has some white marks on the buttock there. But you'll see just a nice softening of that um, that dimpling along uh, the, the lower buttock area. And I, I did want to include this because you can see that a bruising is a side effect and we'll go over that a, a bit more um, that should be expected. Um, um, I have yet to have a patient have no bruising. Um, so we really should um, expect this. So it's not something that we do a lot of in the middle of the summer in bathing suit weather. So um, this is a good time of the year um, to have this done. So all of that bruising um, um, can be resolved. So side effects, temporary bruising should be expected. Um, the company will tell you a certain percentage, but I'm going to tell you expect bruising. Um, the bruising tends to be the worst the first time, and that is because the blood vessels that live in the fat layer are kind of supported by those bands. So when we dissolve that, they lose their support, so they're a little bit more um, fragile. Um, in lighter skin patients, and this is including myself, I've had this treatment done, the staining from the bruise, um, bruises are obviously blood under the skin, and we have little Pac-Man cells that come in and clean up that blood. Sometimes it can leave some um, staining that can linger a bit. It does eventually fade, but it can have give you a slight discoloration. And again, we typically see that in more fair complected um, patients. It can cause some tenderness and firmness. Again, with inflammation um, from the breakdown of these bands, inflammation can cause some swelling and firmness and even hard hard bumps. Um, the hard lumps can actually be little hematomas where that blood kind of collects more like in a knot. And the tenderness is mostly because you're sitting on a bruise. I will say when I had this, my um, car, my the seat, the heaters in my car seat were my best friend. I sat in there for like an extra 10, 15 minutes when I got home at night. And then I'm um, having a heating pad, you know, at work um, also help. But um, these are very temporary and they resolve uh, quite quickly. And like I said, the, the bruising tends to be worse after the first and less so with the, um, the second and third. Um, there are some recommendations we can make. There are some things that you can eat and avoid. Obviously you avoid things that, you know, um, um, thin our blood out um, before we have this um, done. And really anyone can get this treatment. People that are on blood thinners or have um, um, bleeding issues really um, shouldn't be having this. Um, aspirin's okay as long as it's um, less than 150 milligrams, but uh, people that are on true prescription strength blood thinners um, are patients that really shouldn't have this done. And if they do go off of those blood thinners, to get quote that obviously should be um, um, moderated by their uh, primary prescribing um, physician. But um, otherwise, it's a pretty um, easy treatment. Here's another picture of a bruise. And, and you know, again, this is um, seen in someone that's a, a bit fairer, but uh, the bruising can be pretty um, diffuse. But again, it does go away. I, I, I can um, promise you it goes away if I know anything <laughs> about that second picture, because uh, that thigh no longer looks like that. Um, but you can see a, a good amount of bruising. And that was probably about five days out and then resolved within about uh, 14 days. And then here's just a quick video just to show how comfortable this is. The treatment itself, Quo, is, is very a neutral pH. It does not burn going in like some other um, injections that, um, that are involved in um, body contouring. Um, this patient's already been already kind of consulted. Started, and we have already consulted this patient and gotten her photographs done and gotten her marks. So just wanted to demonstrate really quickly um, how comfortable this is. Um, these are really, it's a really quick and fast um, treatment. Um, the needle is very small and there's really no pain on injection. So we're gonna get started. Here we go. Just gonna feel a little pinch. So we do three different angles at each area. You can see that the patient is not screaming. It really is very minimal discomfort, correct? Correct. Just a little poke of the needle and that is it. Um, as we discussed earlier, I do warn patients that they should expect a lot of bruising particularly after the first treatment, bruising does tend to decrease um, in subsequent treatments, but after that first therapy, people should expect a lot of bruising. So just need to keep that in mind if you have any uh, 
travel plan that requires bikini weather. <clears throat> so before moving on to our next session, and you'll be able to submit um, questions um, throughout, including at the end, but if anyone has any immediate questions that we can answer, we'll give a few moments to see if any of those come through. So Carol or Melissa, did anything come through yet? So we don't have any questions, but if, um, if you do want to type them in, we can get to them at the end as well. Um, but Cindy, I just wanted to ask, you had mentioned that you had the, the seat warmers that really helped. So do you recommend that your patients use like a heating pad or heat source or something like that to help with the discomfort? It's really as needed. Um, I'm very adverse to discomfort. So um, I sat on them. <laughs> really? Uh, but if you imagine sitting on a bruise or if you put pressure yeah. on a bruise, it's on your backside. So it's like sitting on a bruise. It wasn't horrible, but you know, I'm adverse to um, heat. Um, you don't want to overdo the heat though, because as dermatologists, there's a condition called erythema abigne, where you can get permanent hyperpigmentation of the skin from external heat sources. Usually it's seen with more prolonged exposure, but certainly I would not recommend someone sitting on a heating pad, you know, many, many hours a day for the weeks in between these treatments, because you can get side effects from external sources of heat, but the, uh, the heat okay. is that the ad temporarily did help. Okay, thank you. Um, we do have a question about how long does this treatment last? So really the treatment is forever. Um, once that fibrous band is released, um, it's gone. So um, for the most part, and you know, anybody on the panel, if, if you wanna pop in with your opinion, cellulite tends to kind of occur like in our, you know, uh, post pubertal area or years from like our teens into our twenties. And, and I feel like it kind of stabilizes. Um, I don't think of cellulite as something that worsens. It can certainly change as we have a uh, weight change. If you gain a lot of weight or lose a lot of weight. Um, but I don't know that we continue to form a lot of those new fibrous bands as we age um, more. So we just lose more collagen and get more atrophy around the area, but the number of bands, I can't give a, a perfect answer to if we continue to, to form those, but the actual band that are dissolved, they're gone forever. So um, it really is something that we are thinking you probably just need to get once. And then obviously, if there is a significant change over time, um, you know, having a touch up done, but you know, would I expect someone's buttock to go back to, you know, having you know, those 20 dimples in it, you know, within five to 10 years, I would say not. Okay, thank you. And then um, you showed some really great pictures of the, the bruising. And so I was just wondering, you know, if if somebody wants to have this done and they want their, their tush looking really good for summer because it's three weeks apart for these sessions, like when is the ideal time to treat them? It's probably right now. Right, right? now. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Cause if they wait too long, then they're going to, you know, they're going to have a, a funky bruised butt, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. So they should do it now. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, any other questions? for the audience. Well, thank you so much, Dr. T. That was really, really helpful and informative. And we have uh, Dr. Ashley Reed, who's gonna talk to us a little bit about cool sculpting. So get ready. Hey, everybody. So at Paris or Dermatology, we've been doing cool sculpting for over six years. And we've done over 3000 treatments. So we have a lot of experience with it and feel very confident in this treatment. And I can tell you guys that it, it just works. Um, so it is not a weight loss treatment. Um, the ideal candidate has stubborn pockets of fat that are not responsive to diet and exercise. And um, they are at their ideal body weight or near their ideal body weight. So it all started with a popsicle. So um, children, sometimes when they have prolonged exposure in their cheek to eating a popsicle, will get a little divot of fat on their cheek. And so scientists at Harvard kind of applied this phenomenon to, for good, to, to get rid of fat that was unwanted. Um, also, you know, as early as like the 1980s, um, it was noticed that equestrians who were riding horses, they would get um, loss of fat in their thighs um, from cold exposure when they were riding in the cold. So um, this phenomenon of fat loss to cold exposure actually happens naturally, but we harness it to sculpt the body. Um, and the cool thing about cool sculpting is it 
eliminates fat cells for good. So um, in a given treatment area, about a fourth of fat cells in that area are eliminated for good with one treatment. So it's additive. If you do two treatments, then about 40 to 50% of fat cells in that area total will be eliminated. And those fat cells are gone for good. I just wanna show you guys a quick video. The non-surgical cool sculpting treatment is FDA cleared to reduce stubborn fat in nine different parts of the body. Cool sculpting technology works by applying targeted cooling to fat cells, triggering cell death. Frozen fat cells in the treated area will begin to be eliminated in the weeks following treatment by the body's own natural processes. There is no harm to surrounding nerves or skin. The result? Up to 20 to 25% fat layer reduction in the treated area. Best of all, once the treated fat cells are eliminated from the body, they're gone for good all with little to no downtime and no surgery. So just to recap, cool sculpting is the one and only FDA clear treatment to reduce stubborn fat in nine different areas. So there are a lot of different applications for it that you may not think of. It's not just for belly fat. You can use it to sculpt bra fat, banana rolls, which is the fat um, under the buttocks. Um, so um, lots of areas to treat. Um, and there have been over 8 million cool sculpting treatments worldwide. So it's very safe, it's been studied, and another advantage is it's non-surgical and there's no downtime. So you can literally have the treatment at lunch and go to gym later, go to the gym later in the day or go back to work. Um, and again, these are the nine different areas that you can treat. Um, under the jawline is becoming um, a very popular area to treat. Um, sometimes we use cool sculpting in combination with Kybella, which is um, deoxycholic acid, and that dissolves fat as well. And um, we do know that, you know, it not only works, but it lasts. And um, as I mentioned, once the fat cells are destroyed, they're gone. Now the fat cells that are left behind can plump back up again should you gain weight, um, but, um, but the sculpting effects are permanent. And you can start to see results as early as a month after treatment, uh, but about 90 days or three months after is when you see the best results. So, in thinking about when to do it, you can do it anytime, but if you have some plans for the summer and are gonna wear a swimsuit, you know, doing it in the winter time is a really good time um, to schedule your procedure. So everybody has um, different pockets of fat in different areas. So it's very important to come in and get a personalized treatment plan. You will meet with one of our cool sculpting technicians and they will measure the areas of stubborn fat and give you a very customized quote about the cost. But typically two or more sessions are needed to obtain optimal results. And patients will often have those two sessions done because you get about 50% fat reduction um, with two treatments. Um, so you see optimal results with two. Um, and the cool sculpting applicator um, is applied to the skin. It cools skin to just above the freezing point. Um, there's a little bit of pain associated in the beginning, but then the skin goes numb. And as you can see, this patient is reading on her iPad. Um, a treatment lasts for about 35 to 45 minutes um, for one cycle. Sometimes if the area is bigger, you'll need to do several cycles in one treatment session. But people go about their normal activities for the rest of the day. And some people even nap during the procedure. Um, so one advantage to getting it done at a, a dermatologist or other doctor's office is we do um, take a thorough medical history and screen you for any contraindications for cool sculpting. I will tell you there are very few reasons that you cannot do cool, cool sculpting, but we do take a thorough history. 
So I want to show you just a gallery of before and afters, and we'll go through these relatively quickly. Um, this is the lower abdomen, and if you look at the last image, that's uh, about a month after the second session. This patient had their upper and lower abdomen treated, so you can see really good results again after um, the first session, you see significant results. Um, and then after the second session, really, um, really good results as well. Um, and the results are added up. Here's a man um, getting his abdomen treated. So we often treat men, men and women. Um, another abdomen a side view of the abdomen and the final picture is about a month after the second session. So the fat cells are even dying um, beyond that. So you get the results, the um, best results 90 days after treatment. So this patient would have continued improvement, but really impressive results. The flank, so, or love handles um, are another common area. And this patient had abdomen and flanks treated in combination. This is the lower abdomen and flanks. Bra fat is a very popular area that's stubborn to weight loss and exercise. Um, and a lot of women really enjoy this because it makes their clothes fit better and their, the contour of their body look better when they're wearing clothes. So it's not just for bikinis, it's how you feel when you're wearing clothes. Um, and upper arms is another common area where people have stubborn fat and we see really excellent results. This is the outer thigh. So I think this patient probably needs a combination of quo and goal sculpting because I see some, some dimpling. So often, you know, when we're doing body um, sculpting, we'll do treatments in combination, but this is an example of just cool sculpting to the banana roll or the pocket of fat under the buttocks. And this is um, about four months after the second session. Uh, distal thigh, so the little pocket of fat near the knee is another um, area that responds well to cool sculpting. And this is a side view of the banana roll. Um, and um, again, I touched briefly on the jawline. So sometimes we'll do a combination of cool sculpting and Kybella, um, but this patient just had cool sculpting and you can see really excellent results um, with two sessions of cool sculpting. And we have a little special applicator to put under the chin. Um, and again, these results are permanent. the results really just speak for themselves. So this is a um, mother of one of our physicians who's very nicely agreed to share her photos. So this is a um, real patient, real results. And she, her treatment goals were really not to wear a bikini, but just to fit in her clothing more comfortably. And she um, just had these stubborn areas of fat and was having to buy clothes two sizes bigger than the rest of her body. So she just wanted to more comfortably sculpt or fit in her clothes and to sculpt her abdomen. So this is after one treatment. So you can really see um, significant fat reduction and a side view just after one treatment. So you're probably wondering how much does this cost? So it varies depending on the area, the amount of fat you have and your, um, your goals. And so um, the average cost of um, a, one treatment area is around $3,200. Um, but again, you have to schedule a consultation um, to um, get your customized treatment plan and um, to know the individual costs for you. There is a rewards program that um, the company um, Allergan, who manufactures the cool sculpting um, machines, does, and it also applies to Botox and some of the Allergan fillers. Um, so, if you're interested, give us a call. We have um, cool sculpting technicians who can answer your questions. And if you have any questions for me, <laughs> just, um, type them in. <laughs> and um, I'll be happy to answer them. I'll say one question I get about quo and cool sculpting is 
uh, what to do first. So you would first do cool sculpting to, to get the bulk and the volume of the fat down and then follow with quo for those dimples. Because um, quite frankly, sometimes debulking that fat also changes, um, changes where and how the dimples sit. So if you're someone that's thinking about doing both, you would go through your cool sculpting um, series first and then kind of um, finish things off um, with the quo. Uh, Ashley, we have a, have a question for you. Um, okay. We have a patient who's kind of curious just a, a roundabout cost for the chin area. And obviously, you know, I can tell you guys that it has to be measured. We have to put the actual applicator on and we won't know, um, you know, until we see you, but she could maybe give you like kind of an estimate for chin. What do you think, Dr. Reed? So I would say between two and $3,000, but it, it kind of depends on the um, amount of fat there. Some people have it more just localized to the front part and some people it extends more. So you need more cycles. Um, so yeah, but I would say between two and 3,000. Okay, thank you. And, um, Dr. Reed, can you also kind of touch on, you know, why somebody would want to choose cool sculpting for their treatment instead of like liposuction? What's the advantage? So cool sculpting is non-surgical and there's no downtime. Um, and, um, you know, I think liposuction is a great treatment, but not everybody wants to um, go under the knife, so to speak. <laughs> True, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a good alternative. It's something you can do, as I said earlier, on your lunch break and, and go back to work the same day without a lot of interruption in your daily activities. So do you guys uh, treat patients during, let's say, around lunchtime? Can they come in? They're working and can they come in at like noon and just... Sure. Stop and get a little cool sculpting <laughs> yes. and then go back to work. That's sure. awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm obsessed with cool sculpting. My whole body's cool sculpted. So. Well, you know, you're at the office. We'll just <laughs> please the room. Yes. We just have a, a um, we have a couple <laughs> other questions for you. Um, sure. So uh, somebody, uh, let's see. We have a patient who's asking. She lives in Yorktown and she wants to know if any of these treatments are available at the Newport News office. Where, where are these? Um, I know these machines are really big. So where do we have the machines? Which offices? We have one in our William or Newtown Williamsburg office for the peninsula. So come on over to Newtown. Perfect. All right. Well, if anyone doesn't have, let's see, anybody have any other questions in the audience? How's Ashley's hair looking? <laughs> it looks good. It's fabulous. Thank, as you. Always. thank you, thank you. Ashley always has good hair. Oh, she has great good. hair. <laughs> took me well, um, well, thank you so much, <laughs> Ashley. That was really informative. I especially loved the photos. And um, we will go ahead and move on. And now we're gonna, um, now up is Lauren. Dr. Barnes, can you please tell us about old therapy? I'm just going to there. So we've talked about how to freeze fat away all over the body. We've talked about how to dissolve your cellulite dimples. Well, what about your skin? Um, and also some areas that are really important to, to us, especially that jawline that Dr. Reed touched on with the cool sculpting being really, really popular lately. I think jawlines are very, very in. One of the non-invasive ways that you can help to tighten as well as lift the jawline on the neck, chest and decollete area, as well as the upper brow is all therapy. So this is an ultrasound based treatment that tightens loose skin, targeting collagen, and also helps to uh, improve the tightness of the supportive connective tissue, giving a true lifting effect. Um, this is a procedure that takes a little bit of time for you to see your uh, ultimate results from because it's targeting increased collagen production, thickening of the collagen and improvement of that supportive connective tissue. So it takes a little bit of time. So three to six months is about average for uh, when our patients will start to see results from their treatment. This is a short video of Dr. Cook uh, Dr. Lane Cook and Aaron, one of our estheticians, talking a little bit more in depth about all therapy. I'm Dr. Lane Cook with Pariser Dermatology. 
And I'm Erin Pittman, an esthetician, and I also work at Paris for Dermatology. And today we're going to talk about all therapy, an FDA approved non invasive device to lift and tighten the skin. All therapy uses ultrasound technology to deliver heat energy to different depths of the skin, which allows us to stimulate collagen production. It also targets the connective tissue layer of the skin, resulting in lifting and tightening. What's unique about all therapy is the ability to visualize the skin at different depths, and therefore we can customize it to our patient based on their anatomy and skin thickness. Today I'm gonna to demonstrate on a patient the advanced brow lift with all therapy. First, the skin is prepped or cleansed with a gentle cleanser. Next, the skin is marked to define the treatment areas. We use ultrasound gel to create a proper seal between the handpiece and the skin. We evaluate the thickness and anatomy of the skin to ensure we are administering the proper depth of treatment. Then the treatment begins. we're going to address a few questions that we frequently get from our patients. Who is the best patient or candidate for all therapy? And the best candidate for all therapy is somebody who has mild to moderate skin laxity and is looking for a non-surgical option. How long does it take to perform the procedure? All therapy is performed in a single treatment. It can take 30 minutes to two hours to perform the treatment, depending on how many areas we're treating that day. How soon can someone expect results? So some results are immediate, but expect about three to six months to see the full results. What side effects could be expected? Some patients may experience some discomfort during the procedure, but fortunately, we've come a long way in developing ways to decrease any discomfort they might experience. And less often, some patients may experience bruising or tingling, but thankfully, that's rare. Give us a call if you'd like to schedule a complimentary consultation for oral therapy. All right, so why don't we take a look at some of our practices results and some of the results um, from other um, uh, old therapy providers across the country. So this is one of our practices patients. You can see that about three and a half to four months after one treatment of old therapy to the jawline and upper neck area, uh, we have a really nice improvement of that jawline silhouette. And here is um, a before and after photo from uh, Old Therapy's website. And you can see that this patient um, has some fantastic results. And this was measured at six months or 180 days after uh, their treatment. Here are two examples of treating the upper eye and the brow area. Uh, really nice improvement of the, uh, the upper eyelid, nice tightening there uh, where that is no longer resting uh, on top of the lashes. So this patient down here on the bottom, you'll notice that this is a result at 450 days. I doubt that it took 450 days for her to see that result, but it has lasted and had some longevity, which is nice. And here's one for the neck. So this patient at 90 days after treatment, uh, much uh, significant improvement in her uh, laxity of the neck skin. And here's a woman who had her uh, chest or decollete treated uh, at six months uh, after her treatment. So old therapy is a fantastic non-invasive way to not only improve collagen uh, stimulation and improve the appearance of some fine lines, but it also has that really great lifting uh, capability as well. And do we have any questions about it? All right, I'm checking here. I'll do my best. Yeah, Dr. Cook is our Dr. Cook is our old therapy expert here at the practice, and, yeah. and she was unfortunately unable to be with us tonight. So I'm, you know, jumping in and filling in for her. So um, I will do my best to answer our questions. Uh, Dr. Barnes, does uh, does all therapy hurt? What does it feel like? So the um, old therapy can be a little bit uncomfortable because, you know, if you've had an ultrasound or a sonogram before, you really don't feel anything but the cold gel, maybe a little bit of real gentle heat when that probe is moving over your skin. Old therapy works by using ultrasound to generate heat in the skin. It's the heat that causes a very controlled specific injury to the dermal layer of the skin that helps to stimulate collagen ultimately. And so it can be a little bit uncomfortable. 
but we have had uh, many patients receive this procedure and have tolerated the, the uh, procedure without too much discomfort. Uh, do you know approximately like a, just a generalized idea of cost? And I understand, again, we really need to see you and know what areas we're treating and how many. Is there, is there any kind of um, general idea? We have patients that are asking kind of an, an idea of the cost. Of the cost, right. And it really does depend uh, on partially on your um, treatment goals and starting point. So there are some uh, cases where there is enough skin laxity to where surgical treatment would be the ideal treatment. And we, of course, work with our patients who really desire to do a non-surgical um, uh, rejuvenation and improvement. Um, but for cost, it also depends on treatment area of how many areas that, um, that a patient is interested in having treated. I think that um, in general could cost anywhere from per treatment, uh, maybe $500 to maybe $1,500 or $2,000, just depending on the number of, of areas that, um, that they want to have treatment. Yeah, so it, it, it sounds like you have to really, I mean, we can't really give that on the phone. It's not like an arbitrary thing. We have to see you. Yeah, yeah. And our estheticians are fabulous at doing their consultations. I believe Erin in Chesapeake, our Chesapeake office, and uh, Gloria in our Newport News office um, are both doing uh, consultations for old therapy. And those are the two locations where um, we currently offer um, old therapy in our Newport News and Chesapeake offices. So we have a peninsula and a south side uh, availability. Okay, so just to reiterate, we did have a question uh, from the audience about the location. So you said we've got all therapy at our Chesapeake and Newport News location. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, so uh, another question here from the audience are, are the consultations and um, the actual procedure, are they done by the provider, the esthetician? Who's going who's gonna to do the procedure? And that depends a lot on some of the, we offer a, a plethora of uh, non-invasive um, uh, treatments. We've, we've, heard, uh, we've heard of some minimally invasive ones like the Quo, um, completely non-invasive treatments like uh, cool sculpting as well as old therapy so far. And uh, there are, um, some of your procedures will be performed by one of our physicians or PAs, uh, providers, uh, but some of the uh, treatments that we offer through our practice are uh, performed by qualified and trained and certified master estheticians um, in our practice. And so we, uh, we assure you that we have only the most appropriately and maximally qualified individuals performing your procedure. That's great. That was a tough question. Woo. Okay. Good so one. we've got um, just a couple other quick ones. We're wondering how long the results last. You kind of touched on that a little bit. So with all therapy, they the the when all of the um, initial studies were performed with all therapy, patients had one treatment, and then they had a second treatment about twelve months later. Now, when we tighten the skin and we uh, and we and stimulate collagen, that's permanent new collagen, permanent tightening. However, we are always fighting time. And we are always, unfortunately, we're trying so hard to fight it, but we're always aging just a little bit. And so we could do some old therapy now, but 10 years from now, even five years from now, your skin and your, your tissues underneath your skin are not going to be exactly the same as they are you know, from, from five years in, in the past. So we're always constantly fighting that, um, that, that, that time, but uh, you can uh, expect results that last. You may need some uh, may need to think about some maintenance treatment or a second treatment about 12 months later with old therapy specifically, uh, yeah. but unfortunately, it's not going to be completely permanent. Uh, question about, um, so we have a question from the audience and um, it's, I can't really tell what it's saying, but I think the question is, um, will it provide a finished look like surgery? And maybe to clarify, uh, you know, this is non-surgical, everything that we're doing, and the benefit is that it is non-surgical and it's going to be a more natural look. Um, but if uh, the person who asked the question has a more specific um, thing that they want to ask, if you want to type it in, I can try to answer that more 
But I think that the goal for these treatments is really a natural look. Would you guys agree with that? You know, surgery, surgery is different. Yeah, yeah. And, and I will reiterate too, that when, when you are consulting with, with our estheticians specifically for all therapy and with, with any of us or our estheticians for any of the procedures that we provide here, we're going to talk to you frankly and honestly about what areas may potentially benefit more from a surgical procedure if we right. think that would be the best treatment option. I know that all of us are very, um, very true uh, and very honest about letting our patients know what we feel that we can accomplish without uh, going for surgery. And there, there are some limitations uh, to what we do, but the benefit of, of a lot of the procedures that we do is the avoidance of surgery, of scarring, of um, uh, potentially general anesthesia. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, well, Dr. Burns, thank you so much. Um, we would love to learn more and hear more about the lasers that we offer yeah. and um, specifically the Fraxel. I heard this one is amazing. I'm so excited. I hope that you can do me soon. <laughs> what can you tell us about it? So Fraxel is a fractionated non-ablative laser treatment that is quite versatile. There are two uh, primary different wavelengths or, um, or initial settings that we can choose on this device so that we can customize a treatment to erase sunspots like we're doing here on a leg in this photo. We can soften fine lines and wrinkles. We can treat acne scars and surgical scars. We can reduce the number of precancerous lesions uh, called actinic keratoses. And we can also lighten up uh, the dark, uh, darker spots of melasma and the patches of melasma. The uh, Fraxel laser, as I reiterating what I, um, what I said before, helps with the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, for example, you can focus on uh, brow lines, crow's feet lines, forehead lines, lines around your mouth, um, scarring um, uh, such as acne scars and, and more superficial surgical scars, um, hyperpigmentation or dark spots, both sunspots as well as hyperpigmentation from acne scarring or from, uh, from other procedures. Uh, it helps uh, erase sun damage as well as uh, erase actinic keratoses. It actually is FDA uh, approved for the treatment of these precancerous lesions. The uh, Fraxel device has been um, out in the United States for almost two decades, and it has over 50 different clinical studies uh, to study all of the different indications that we just uh, spoke about. It's a very high volume um, of, of patients treated the country, um, as well as being a highly recognized brand, which is which is always a nice a nice benefit when we're we're talking about it casually. When you come in for your Fraxel treatment, your skin's going to be clean. We actually ask that you do arrive with a nice, clean, freshly washed face because as soon as you come in, we're going to make sure that we take some photographs and we're going to apply uh, your numbing cream to the treatment area. Um, and so that numbing cream sits any, anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes prior to the procedure. That numbing cream is then removed and then your skin is uh, cleansed and prepped with uh, alcohol. Um, protective eye shields are applied and then um, we uh, begin the treatment. Treatment for, um, uh, for example, a face can last anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes um, to treat a full face. Of course, you know, a little bit less for smaller areas like the hands, a um, little bit longer for uh, larger surface areas like the forearms or the lower legs. Um, during the treatment, you do experience a sensation of heat and it kind of builds a little bit on itself. It feels sort of like a sunburn. And after the treatment is over, you have kind of that red and sunburn feeling. Um, we uh, apply a cooling, uh, a cooling um, uh, after product um, and the elastin skin nectar as well to help promote healing. And then we give you plenty of ice packs to help suck that heat away from your skin. Here's a really quick video of me actually doing a little procedure. So I've already treated her forehead and we're going to zoom in in a moment and you're going to see it's a little subtle, but you'll see that the forehead is a little bit more pink than the rest of her normal untreated skin. You have a little bit of this pink reaction after treatment and that's just from uh, the skin reacting to the intense heat of the laser itself.
So how does fractal work? So I said, mentioned that it's a fractional. This means that it does not fire a laser beam at 100% of the treatment area. It's fractionated almost, um, almost uh, like um, a little, little microchips. So what it's going to do is as the laser is rolled across the treatment area of the skin, it's going to fire the laser energy, it's heat energy. And that heat is going to heat up the superficial layers of the skin. And sometimes if we're focusing on acne scars or wrinkles, it's going to heat up the deeper layers of the dermis. The heat specifically causes stimulation of collagen production. So if we're focusing on the uh, treatment of acne scars or surgical scars or fine lines or wrinkles, we're going to be really driving that energy deeply into the dermis to get a really good stimulation of collagen there. If we're going to be treating sunspots uh, and brown spots, then we're going to keep it a little bit more superficial because a sunspot is quite more superficial on the skin. The benefit of a fractional treatment is that it improves the speed of healing. So there's much less downtime. So getting to some results, this patient had the collagen stimulating uh, um, setting on that laser. So you can see that before um, this uh, fractal treatment, um, she has a little bit of skin laxity, it's a mild, and then she's had two treatments, um, have nice improvement in that laxity. Now this patient um, underwent the fraxel treatment targeting the brown spots. So you can see a really nice improvement in her brown spots from her before picture to after her second treatment. I think if I were to do her treatment number three, I would also uh, start to target those fine lines and wrinkles or just do a little bit of old therapy down there for that jaw or for up here. I think that would look really nice for her too. And here you can see I'm treating sunspots as well as stimulating collagen on the back of the hands. So we see an obvious improvement in the sunspots, but if you notice here that on the pre-treatment photograph, we can see the tendons of the back of the hands a little bit more. Here we've had some in, uh, induced collagen here in the skin uh, to thicken it up and make that less obvious. You could also use filler in the hands. I know we're not talking about filler today, but that's another option to help improve the appearance of those uh, tendons. This is a younger patient who had treatment of her freckles and a little bit of her melasma as well. Um, and after one treatment has had a really nice um, reduction in her freckling and a nice, um, nice glow to her skin as well. This patient underwent treatment specifically for melasma. Uh, melasma is a uh, medical condition where the skin uh, pigments and gets darker, specifically with sun exposure and with a few other triggers. Um, and it can be uh, very debilitating as it is most often on the face. Um, and so we can add Fraxel in as a uh, part of the treatment plan for melasma. Here is a sample patient um, who, if, if you um, come up to, to consult with me or, or with my esthetician, Gloria, um, you will see these pictures again because we have a fantastic consultation book with this uh, patient's photos. You can see that before treatment, she uh, has a good number of freckles and sunspots. Immediately after treatment, she's a little bit more red, but the re real redness starts um, the first day and second day after treatment. You get almost this bronzed appearance and everything gets a little bit darker and darker red. Dark spots get darker as well. And then the, um, you will notice that you'll start to peel. Um, about day three to five is when peeling starts and it can last up to about a week or so. This patient uh, peeled pretty quickly um, uh, from my experience. Uh, and so at one week, some of my patients still have had a little tiny bit of peeling right at the uh, hairline area. And you can see that at a one week after she is a little bit pink, um, but has a bit more of a glow to her skin. And you can see the obvious improvement in uh, the burden of brown spots. This patient um, primarily had the treatment focused at treating her collagen to kind of bring, um, bring a, a glow and more uh, luminosity to her skin and also just improve her skin, um, skin tone and texture. Here at baseline, she also does have a little bit of, of subtle uh, sun damage as well. A little bit red after treatment. She doesn't have the peeling uh, with this treatment um, compared to the brown specific brown spot treatment. And you can see that after treatment, she uh, her skin has a bit more brightness to it. You can see that this little, um, the light reflection is a bit more pronounced here in her um, post uh, photo uh, compared to her baseline or pre-treatment photo. 
Here we have an example of one of our patients. So we treated her with a 1927 nanometer, that's treatment for brown spots and sun damage. So she's got a couple little here on the face. Um, immediately after treatment, a little bit more red. This is our patient from that short little video earlier. Day after treatment, she came back into, um, into the practice and uh, quite red, quite dark red. And you can see here that 17 days post-treatment, her redness and her erythema has persisted a little bit. That's one thing that you can expect from the, uh, the brown spot or sun damage treatment for, on the Fraxel um, because you have uh, induced new healthy skin to, to form. You've shed the layers of the old dull skin and brand new baby skin has been revealed underneath. And brand new baby skin can be a little bit delicate and a little bit pink um, from time to time. And that's Fraxel in a nutshell. Do you guys have any questions about it? Uh, Dr. Barnes, we do have some questions. This is a great question. Um, uh, patients asking if, if Fraxel is appropriate for all skin types or do we need to um, cater it to their skin type? Fraxel can be used to treat all skin types and tones. I will probably be using uh, very varied settings uh, dependent upon um, skin type, um, as well as the tan status on the skin. Um, certain Fraxel procedures we can do all year round, but you know, I'm, you know, I'm just up in Williamsburg, but we're essentially, we're, we're all here by the beach, right? So a lot of us are getting a little bit of sun and even a little bit of, of an invisible tan as uh, Dr. McDaniel uh, usually calls it during the summertime. So so um, there are certain um, aggressive treatments with Fraxel that I would choose very specific. Um, I'd be very, very picky with the particular patient on whom I do that treatment so that we can reduce the risk of causing unnecessary damage to, um, to, to um, natural pigmented cells. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we also have some questions about uh, the prices for the consultation. So, um, so I can take the, the question. The question was uh, basically, what is, what is the consult cost and how does that work? It's, it's also a little bit complicated, but here at Pariser, we have um, some amazing master estheticians that will offer um, during this, uh, this body seminar that we are offering. They're gonna be doing free consultations for all of these. They can talk to you about all of the options. However, if you'd like a more in-depth conversation with one of our providers, with any of the doctors on the panel or myself, we do charge a $75 consultation fee. And that provides us to basically give the time that we would normally have for another patient. Um, so if you would like to see one of the providers, again, have a little bit more time with us, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we charge $75 for that consultation. Otherwise, you're welcome to see one of our master estheticians and that consultation will be free. Okay, does anybody else have any questions or on panel, do you guys have any questions for your colleagues? Oh, I actually see a question here. Um, how does Fraxel laser compare to chemical peels in terms of treating spots or wrinkles? Fantastic question. So the, um, I would say I would compare it to chemical peels that we're that we typically offer in our practice. We typically do not uh, perform the deep chemical peels. Um, I think maybe some of us may, but I, I know I I don't as of yet perform the deep chemical peels. Those are really geared at at um, intensely um, treating fine lines, wrinkles, improving dark spots as well. I also sometimes like to think of Fraxel for brown spots as like a laser peel. Um, because it does give, it gives almost an immediate, essentially a one week result after you're peeling, which similar to a chemical peel that can do it too, um, compared to the chemical peels that we regularly offer in our practice, I think that you're going to get um, uh, uh, more bang for your time um, and for the procedure with the Fraxel uh, for treating brown spots specifically. Um, but if we're talking about treating wrinkles specifically with chemical peels, I um, uh, you can get good results. You would need multiple treatments of the, of the Fraxel um, to help improve that appearance of wrinkles uh, specifically. I usually will recommend planning for at least three treatments uh, about four weeks apart when we're focusing on um, wrinkle treatment for Fraxel. Okay, great. 
Panel, do you guys have any questions for anybody? I'm going to go over some of the cost stuff in, in just a second here. And, and we have an awesome, we have three prizes to give out. So we are almost going to wrap it up. You guys have any questions? Oh, you know what? Someone asked us, uh, I saw a question about the location uh, for Fraxel. Our Fraxel laser is in our new town location in Williamsburg. So Newtown is, is an actual Williamsburg location. For those of us that are yes. all the way on the, the south side in the beach, where the heck is that? What are you close to? How do uh, I get to you? I, well, get, head on up 64. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. Head on up 64. If you're down in Chesapeake, you, you could potentially take the Monitor Merrimack Tunnel to get up to us, but 64. Um, and then there's a big highway or parkway. Um, we call it what? It's, Highway 199. That's kind of goes in a big arc around Williamsburg, um, and you you can put us in put us in your GPS. is probably the easiest way to find us. Um, but Newtown is a large um, uh, multi um, uh, modality um, uh, or multi specialty type of uh, location. Restaurant shops, some doctor's offices, law offices, um, residential, a little bit like town center, but we don't have any tall buildings. A little more. Got it. Out. Yeah. Very cool. I got to check it out. And if I, could right. just say, if I could just say one thing, we also have a range of lasers at our other offices. So if you yeah. don't feel like driving to Newtown, um, we have a CO2 laser in Virginia Beach. We have some great lasers also in Norfolk. So schedule a consultation, you may not have to drive. And lasers yeah. coming in yeah. Suffolk and Newport News as yeah. well. So yeah, the CO2 laser, I run that um, in our Virginia Beach office, similar to Fraxel, um, can go a bit deeper. So does tend to have some more downtime than what Dr. Barnes um, can do with Fraxel. But um, yeah, and if, if, you know, we, and we don't expect everybody to know what their treatment plan would entail that's on the webinar tonight. So you know, encourage, if you're not sure, you know, get that consultation and we can come up with a, a full comprehensive plan for you. Yeah. Uh, I, so I, I, Dr. I Barnes. Saying, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you had mentioned just real quick about the, um, the laser with all skin types. Yeah. So is, is that pretty accurate? Obviously they need a, uh, need to be evaluated, but is that pretty yeah. accurate that we have something that can help all skin types? We do. We do. And yeah. it may not be, it may not be the Fraxel, but through, I mean, Dr. Reed, um, and Dr. Tarasky made some fantastic uh, points too. And that I, um, haven't yet mentioned, we, we have, we do have lasers at all of our offices. We have, um, we have a, a, not the, the Fraxel system, but a system that um, treats uh, wrinkles as well as brown spots, um, the, the Frax system um, in our, our, I believe that's in our Norfolk office, I believe right now. Um, we do have options to treat all skin types, um, regardless of what your concern is. And we will work, we'll work with you. And we, and we're also, uh, will be very, forthcoming if if I think with my patients, if I think that they're gonna be better suited with to see Dr. Chirosky and have uh, the CO2 treatment, if I think that's gonna be the best bet for them, that's what I'm recommending to them. And yes, it is a drive, but we do have the ab uh, ability um, because of our many locations to offer treatments to any uh, person of any skin type and tone and for just about any concern. Yeah, that's definitely a benefit to treating in our practice for sure. You got all these fabulous providers and doctors and estheticians, and then we've got different offices with different things. Um, well, thank you guys so much. I'm going to um, scooch. Jaren, do I have control? Let's see. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So um, in order to get the pricing and specials that we're offering from this webinar today, uh, you do need to schedule and make a consult or appointment by April the 15th, and you will need to make a deposit to make sure that you secure your special pricing. All right, uh, so Quo, uh, our injectable for cellulite, pricing is going to be based on the size and severity of treatment area, but generalized pricing is going to start around 1800 go up to 3600 and higher if we need to do more, uh, more dimples. Essentially, you're looking at around 12 dimples, 24 dimples, 36 dimples. So you can see you're going to get a huge discount if you book this now. Um, your special pricing on, on the right there, you see 
a lot, um, a big difference. So we got 1800 goes to down to 1499, 2400 goes down to 1999, and 3600 goes down to 2999. So that's a great discount. We're, we are offering some cool sculpting specials as well. Unfortunately, because again, that one really, really requires us to get in there and to physically touch you and to measure you and decide on what your treatment goals are, we're gonna need to see you first. Um, and obviously we've already discussed this as well, but plan on multiple cycles for the optimal results. Um, depending on your treatment area, you're gonna get a discount um, for attending this webinar. And your discount's gonna be higher for the um, number of treatments. So if you get more treatments, your discount's gonna go up much higher. Um, so if you're getting one discount, you might get a 10% off, uh, sorry, if you're getting one treatment, you might get a 10% off discount from the baseline price, and then you can get all the way up to 35%, so more than a third off of your treatment if you go to the higher packages. All right, so for today, Fraxel Special uh, pricing is going to be based on your treatment area. Larger areas are going to be, um, you know, higher, so if you're treating a chest, it's different than treating the face. Our current pricing starts around 499 and goes up to about 1300 for a typical average treatment. Uh, today, you will be uh, receiving the discounted rate, which will be, uh, excuse me, 10% off. So that's going to be running around 450 to $1,170, um, depending on your treatment. Also requires a deposit. Uh, our all therapy special also customized. But generally speaking, it's going to be around somewhere around $500 to $2,000. You'll receive 10% off for your treatment for attending the webinar today. Okay, now for the moment we've all been waiting for. I have uh, some prizes to give out. And let me just pull up the prizes. I have a signature facial. And the winner of our signature facial today, congratulations, Sally Andrews. Woo! You got a facial. All right. Um, the next prize drawing I'm going to be giving away is this awesome product, Elastin Transform. And you guys, um, you guys have all probably used it on the panel. This product is fabulous. I add it to any time I do pool sculpting or quo, this is on my rear or my arm or you know wherever I'm treating. But this product has trihex technology, antioxidants, so it's anti-aging and it also kind of helps smooth out the surface that you're treating. So this is a very good adjunctive therapy to doing your body sculpting. I highly recommend it. If you're gonna spend a ton of money on sculpting your body, add this to it and you're gonna get a better value. So it's a $200 value. Let's see who's going to win. Who's winning? Who's winning? Let's see. All right. Congratulations, Kimberly Mercer. Love this product. It's awesome. You know, Melissa, I also use that for crepiness too. I love it for crepiness. Oh, like yeah. for your neck? Yeah, anywhere. <laughs> neck. The, neck, the, the crepiness like around the knee, the arms. Oh, belly not the knee the crepe. Yeah. It really works well. Yeah. Fantastic. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, see, I told you everybody loves this product. This is like the best, love it. Okay, and if you do the treatments, you should get, you should get the product, hands down. All right, so our next product, we picked because this is just, it's like crack in a can. I really shouldn't say that, but this product is fabulous. This is like every anti-aging topical that you would ever want. It's plant-based antioxidants. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles. But another really cool, awesome thing about this is it can be used, again, as an adjunct to your body or face treatment. It's really good for post-procedure, for lasers. Um, think of this as like just kind of a boosting effect. It's not a moisturizer. It's not a sunscreen. This is just going to give it that little extra oomph. So you can use this, you know, like integrate it into your anti-aging regimen, but really good for laser and post-procedure. You guys use this? Melissa, is that the nectar or the, um, yeah, this is the regenerating nectar nectar. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so, just for those on the nectar is also a product. I kind of explained it to my patient. Um, 
it kind of gets rid of all your damaged collagen and puts a healthy layer of collagen down. So I really like patients to use this about three weeks before they're getting you know, lasers, microneedling, chemical peels, because it's going to do two things. Um, it's going to quicken recovery um, for laser procedures like Fraxel and CO2. It can decrease it by 50%. And there's beautiful like split face studies where half the face was treated and half wasn't. So, you know, it's not make believe it really does cut it by 50%, but it's also going to give you better results because your, your collagen is already healthier um, state. Um, so it's just going to be better at what it does. So, um, you know, really any procedure that we're asking the skin to either heal or regenerate collagen, a lot of the things we do do that. Um, this is going to be a great product to pre-treat. Even if you don't get it ahead of time, it's good to start afterwards. But ideally, if you can start this two to three weeks before anything, um, that's going to um, um, we're going to ask your skin to repair itself um, or build collagen. It's, it's a fantastic um, way to get better results and quicker downtime. You guys have anything else to say about this product? It's so awesome. I love it. Even um, pre-filler. I've had oh, a couple yeah. patients use it for a couple of weeks before doing a, a lot of filler and and um, great improvement in, in, uh, in their bruising too. Okay. Thank you. All right. So the winner is, congratulations, Liz Joseph. You got a nectar, you lucky dog. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for spending your night with us. Um, we know you're busy and um, doctors, thank you again for being on this panel. You guys are all experts and we really value our, your time and your opinions. And uh, thank you so much for coming. And if you could please, let me just pull up really quick the number one more time. My, here it is, sorry. Okay, so the phone number, if you'd like to call tonight so that you get all your discounts is 313. 5813. And you can also see us on parasurderm.com. You can see a link to all of our bios, all of our locations, and our cosmetic treatments that we provide. And again, thank you so much. Have Thanks a wonderful for joining evening. us, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye. Thanks, y'all.